So you're excited to use the new walkie-talkie feature on your Apple Watch, but you can't get it to work. Let's take a look at some common issues and see if we can get you up and running. Since walkie-talkie piggybacks off FaceTime audio, there's a good chance your issues can be fixed in the FaceTime settings. The walkie-talkie app will not be available on your Apple Watch if you've deleted the FaceTime app on your iPhone. The first thing you want to do is make sure your Apple ID is set up to use FaceTime, and then make sure you can be reached in FaceTime by both your phone number and Apple ID emails. Connectivity issues with your iPhone is another thing that may be keeping the walkie-talkie app from working. Swipe up from the bottom of your Apple Watch to make sure it's not disconnected. What you should see is a green iPhone icon if your Apple Watch is connected. My Apple Watch has sporadically dropped connection with my iPhone before, so make sure to double check this if you're having issues. Another common problem with walkie-talkie is using the same Apple ID between iPhones. If you and your significant other are using the same Apple ID on your iPhones, walkie-talkie won't work. Each of you needs your own Apple ID set up on each iPhone. There have also been some issues with invitations not sending or getting stuck. If this happens, try removing the contact in the walkie-talkie app and resend the invitation. If the invitation still doesn't go through, try toggling availability on and off on both watches. If you're still having trouble, you can try closing and reopening the app or just restarting the watches altogether. All right, guys, I hope this video helped and that the walkie-talkie app is working for you now. But if you're still having issues, be sure to check out our article on appletoolbox.com, which goes into even more detail on fixing the walkie-talkie app. There will be a link to the article in the description. Well, I'm signing off for now, and I'll see you in the next one. 10-4.